So hi everybody, my name is Matthias Matzke, I'm 18 years old and uh, today I want to present myself and my two friends, the Hohner Funflesh and the Hohner Morino. I'm a student here in Trossingen at the Hohner Conservatory uh, and I'm teached by Mr. Hans Günther Kurz. <laughs> My father used to play the accordion, he had a Hohner Atlantic and he played a lot of entertainment music but this uh, easy stuff and he played uh, a lot of um, parties and I always watched him and thought oh when I'm great I want to be like him and I want to be able to play the accordion like he, I want to entertain people. He started when he was 14 so he had a little accordion and I got this accordion when I was six and a half and started to play it and it was not always pleasure, sometimes I had to be forced uh, to practice but uh, it was worth being done and I'm really thankful that my father sometimes um, forced me to practice uh, because very soon when I had some concerts or uh, later competitions uh, I discovered this fun that uh, the accordions um, gave me. I will finish school this year and uh, after this I, I'm still not sure. <laughs> Maybe I will study music and uh, I think I should, but I've got lots of uh, other interests. Uh, I'm very interested in medicine and um, I love music as a hobby, uh, as a professional hobby of course, because if you say it's a hobby, people usually think you aren't able to play uh, very well. And I'm not sure now uh, if I want to um, depend on music financially or if I only want to play music uh, for me and for my own pleasure. I think it has to be possible uh, to arrange having fun and a professional with music. So maybe after this year of school uh, I will start to study at the conservatory. I got to know Frédéric Deschamps at an international competition last year and he wrote me a message on Facebook and said to me, um, would you like to try a lesson with me? And I said, of course, everybody knows him and he's a great teacher. So uh, we had some Skype lessons and he said to me, uh, you have to go to a competition like Primus Ekalinum in Finland. And I knew this competition, it's a great competition with uh, TV and uh, one of the biggest events that are possible in the accordion scene. And of course I said yes. And a few weeks before the competition, uh, he said to me, but you, you need a nice instrument. Uh, if you want to play on the stage there, uh, you need an instrument that suits you, that suits the stage. And this was how I got to my beautiful fun flesh. <laughs> Maybe the best instrument one can imagine for a stage and for entertainment music.
later I was um, sponsored by Hona. I got a scholarship to go to France and to have uh, three weeks lessons with Frédéric Deschamps, uh, where I developed a lot of uh, technical skills and musical skills also. And after this, I decided to go to uh, China, to Coupe Mondiale, the Accordion World Championships. Uh, of course, virtuoso entertainment music with my fun flash. And uh, Hona also said, oh, you should try and do classic, classical music. So I um, got this Morino, which is a very powerful classical instrument. Uh, and the final results were uh, great, amazing. Uh, I was first in, in Virtuoso Entertainment and the eighth in Classic, due to my sponsorship of Hona, I'm sure. <laughs> Practicing in general is not a must, it's more me. And it's a difficult question because most interviewers say how much do you have to practice and the fact that I do not have to practice because I do not depend on my music. Uh, I practice when I have the fun to do it. Sometimes I get these crazy ideas like uh, I want to play this competition and I want to get a good result. So when I'm in, uh, in the preparation for a competition of course I sometimes really have to play. Uh, but only because I decided uh, that I want to play. And in general, when I do not have any goals, like a special uh, competition or a concert, I play between one hour and two hours a day. This holidays uh, before the Coupe Mondiale in China, uh, I practice a lot. In France, I practiced more than 10 hours a day. And this was not always easy because sometimes uh, you say, oh, I want a break and uh, how can you do this? But um, when, you, when you have the goal and you want to go there and maybe you have the pressure of time, uh, you have to practice a lot. And uh, these are only some moments uh, which you dislike practicing and uh, later you, you are rewarded with uh, results. You, you are able to play these songs and you have advanced a lot of courses. have a kind of image problem with the accordion. We had it, but um, I love it because you always can surprise people no matter where you go. Uh, everybody thinks, uh, okay, now we're going to hear an accordion player and he's going to play uh, some folk music and Oberkreiner and all this music that I also like, but it's not the only music that I like on the accordion. Uh, and my classmates learned very soon uh, that the accordion is not an old-fashioned instrument at all. Uh, they heard me and every time they hear me they're surprised and I think they, they like my playing. The accordion also um, interacts with all hip instruments. Uh, you can play the accordion in every type of band, whether it's a rock band or it's a big band with um, a brass ensemble. Uh, you have such um, many possibilities to join a group of um, musicians with the accordion, so it's not a problem for me to play the accordion.
love to write music and I have lots of ideas which are on a, a device on my computer. But it takes that much time uh, to compose a whole song, so I usually have an idea, I record it, I try and play it sometimes, uh, I improve it, but then I have to stop it because I have to do something else. And only very few ideas uh, develop into compositions, and mainly compositions on the piano, because I also play the piano. I don't know why I have no CD. <laughs> Maybe it was also a question of time, but I'm uh, asked a lot of times, uh, do you have a CD or why can I listen to you? And I always have to say, oh, well, you, you can listen to some videos on YouTube, uh, but uh, no CD yet. Maybe very soon. <laughs>